Next project, I bought this power board uh, as defect, mainly with the idea to put the motors in something else, because the kids are so excited about the self-made quad that I have to build a second one so that both can drive with something cool. So let's see what's inside and what's defect. Most likely it will only be the battery or something like this and that the motors will be okay. Ten kilograms. So let's check what happens if I plug it in. Power supply, 42 volts, 2 amps. Okay, it seems it does not charge, so let's open it up. Let's see what's the voltage. Cool, one volt, not very good. Okay, with 30 volts, it draws no current. Now there is the BMS. Okay, let's check the individual battery voltages. So how many cells are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 42 volts. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, it's a written here. 10 series, 2 parallel. So all the cells are completely dead. It's very interesting. How does something like this happen? So I want to desolder the connector so that I can connect some other battery. But I never had a battery pack where all the cells were completely, completely dead. Maybe some of you can explain what causes this. Okay, anyway, I will use this connector to power the balance board with two Makita tool batteries. If I put them in series, then they have exactly the 36 volts. So this should work for a primitive test. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. So far so good. Nothing. Let's check the voltage. 40 volts. I also want to measure the current. Okay, it works. Very interesting. So these are the motor controllers and these must be the high sensor cables. It's really heavy this wheel.
Oh wow. Ah, this is the beer ring, okay. Okay, that's it for today.